Okay, so if we have this equation, well, it's of the form log of A plus log of B, right? Or log of C. It's a log of one thing plus a log of another thing. Okay? So this is like log to the base B of A plus log to the base B of C where A is X minus 3 and B is X plus 1. Okay, so this here is of that form. And of course B is 2, uh, so that, that C is X plus 1 and B is 2. So we could rewrite this as log base B of A times C. So this is a log base 2 of X minus 3 times X plus 1. That's got to equal 3. Okay, just applying this rule, we rewrite this in this form. Then what? Well, we could use a distributive law to multiply this out. We get x squared minus 2x plus minus 2, right? Uh, and yeah, it'd be okay to do that, but I'm just going to keep it the way it is for a moment because that's not what we want to focus on. The x that we're trying to find is all tied up in this log function. What are we going to do about that? I'm sorry, man. Do what? Yeah, we're going to change it to exponential form, right? Okay. We're going to change this to exponential form using um, I guess I didn't write out the rules, but we know those rules. I guess I'd better write them out. Um, these two are equivalent. Now we've already been over this and you've done it and people have used it correctly. Not everybody used it correctly, but people have used it correctly on the test. Okay? And of course you have to know it. So we can change from the logarithmic to the exponential form and I'm not going to go through the details of that. We've talked about that fairly extensively. Okay? But this tells us that x minus 3 times x plus 1 equals 2 to the third. Now can you solve that equation for x? What kind of equation is it? Okay, probably need some work on identifying what kind of equation we have, but What's x minus 3 times x plus 1? It's x squared minus 2x minus 2. And what's 2 to the third? 8. Hey. Now what kind of an equation is this? It's a quadratic equation. How do you solve a quadratic equation? If you can factor, great. If you can't factor it, use a quadratic formula or complete the square if you want to. Okay? So, aha! <laughs> this is quadratic. Okay? Quadratic. It's a quadratic equation. Quad. I guess I need a D here, right? And an A here. Okay. 
Now it's no longer a quadratic equation. It's a quadratic equation, and we know how to solve it. Okay? And you don't want to even try to solve a quadratic equation. <laughs> I think it's a new term, so I can define it any way I want to. Okay, anyhow. Do you understand what the point I'm trying to make here? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, wouldn't it be x squared minus 2x minus 3? That's 3, yeah. See? Got somebody in here can do arithmetic. Remember, keep an eye on me. Okay. So it's still a quadratic quadratic equation. <laughs> okay? So what do we do? First, we put it in the form x squared minus 2x minus 11 equals 0. Now with that 11 there, we see that it's really, really hopeless to try to factor it and end up with a 2 here. So, we use a quadratic formula. Writing out every detail here and maybe completing a parenthesis on that negative 11. So that's 2 plus or minus the square root of, that's 44, that's 4, that's the square root of 48 over 2. Now the square root of 48 48 is 16 times 3, and why would I write it that way? This goes back to Algebra 1. Square root of a product is the product of the two square roots applies for any power. Two numbers raised to a power is the first number raised to that power times the second number raised to that power. And this ends up being something you can't read from the back. So I'll rewrite it here. One plus or minus two times the square root of three. Now there's a step in there I didn't do. A couple of steps. What's the square root of sixteen? Four. So I got two plus or minus four square root of three, and I'm dividing by two, right? Well, two goes into two once, two goes into four twice. So I have one plus or minus two square root of three. And again, that's Algebra 1, if you need review, please use some of the materials I've recommended for review. Okay? So there it is. Now, there's no way looking at this that you're likely to see it's going to come out in this form. You've got to go through the steps, you've got to identify what you've got, you've got to use the rules. But once you are used to the rules and practiced with them, it's really fairly easy to do this sort of thing. Now, sometimes you end up with an equation you just no way to solve. I mean, I can easily write down equations that I can't solve, that nobody can solve. Okay? But at least we can, you know, it depends what I put in these parentheses whether you can solve it or not. Um, one way or another, uh, we uh, follow the steps and at least see if we can recognize the equation and see what we can do about it. Okay? So we're going to do another one.